on this. Grand Prairie, welcome. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. E effective fertilizer management does not only safeguard the environment, but also protects farm productivity. <coughs> Research is being done through funding by the Alberta Crop Industry Development Fund to look at crop rotation and fertilizer programs to reduce the production of nitrous oxide. Fertilizer management educated by this kind of research can greatly reduce emissions per bushel of crop. The Minister of Agriculture, what programs is your government offering farmers to adapt their management practice to reduce intensity of emissions? Oh, Thank you, Mr. Speaker, the member for the member for the question. I think first off, we have to recognize the farmers and producers out there for the good, great work they have doing. The innovation often comes from the industry themselves around a varied application of not only fertilizers but other chemicals as well that are suing, seeing improvement and continued improvement in the farming industry uh, right across Alberta. Technology that's even exported around the world, Mr. Mr. Speaker. I'm proud of our producers and farmers in this province for the innovation work that they are doing. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. First supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given that farmers are seeking ways to maximize <coughs> nitrogen uptake by their crops, and given that this helps them ensure that they will get high yields and make sure there's not excessive available nitrogen not taken up by the crops, to the Minister, how are you collecting definitive data for farmers about new fertilizers so they can use it and ensure these new technologies will work for their practices? Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the previous answer, I talked about the good work farmers are doing. I also want to talk about the good work that, that our researchers, uh, both uh, federally and, 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 and provincially, are doing around this. We have two centers in Alberta, the Crop Diversification Center North and the Crop Diversification Center South, that are continuously doing work around fertilizers and crops, uh, new and even emerging crops around that fertilizer, uh, applications of it, the development of, of new ones, uh, etc. I'm pr very proud of the work our public servants are doing to help but they can do what we are doing and that makes life better for all Albertans. Mr. Speaker. Second supplemental. Thank you Mr. Speaker. Given that Alberta Crop Industry Development Fund study done on fertilizer technology and management led to the creation of the Alberta Farm Fertilizer Information and Recommendation Manual or a firm and given that this online tool helps producers apply the right amount of fertilizer while maximizing their yields and profits. To the Minister, what are you doing to make more tools available like a firm for farmers to be the best environmental stewards of their land? Good question. Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and the member. The member has also acknowledged that it's good stewardship work that the farmers are already doing. And he mentioned the manual, that it's not, it's not a static manual. Everything should be changing as technology, as all technology changes. So does technology in farms change, Mr. Speaker. There are some extremely interesting things and some very innovative things going out there now. Government will continue to support uh, that innovation through various funding, both through agriculture and forestry and economic development trade as we go forward. The great wide front, new frontier that farming is, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.